Hello everyone. This video is in reference to the discrete time signal processing. Here we are going to learn something, some interesting thing about discrete Fourier transform and also the four point matrix. Now, as we all know that the discrete Fourier transform or DFT as we commonly know is one of the most important tools in the digital signal processing. DFT in subject of DTSP can be studied in simple three formats, which we are going to learn now. First, the DFT can calculate the signal's frequency spectrum. Basically, DFT can dissect any signal into its frequency spectrum. This is a direct examination of the information code in the frequency, phase, and any other heads of the digital transmission. For example, the human speech and hearing uses the signals with these type of encoding. As we all know that the human range of audibility, it ranges between 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. And that is the frequency spectrum of the human hair. Second, DFT can find a system's frequency response from the sequence system's impulse response and vice versa. This allows the system to be analyzed in the frequency domain. Yes, the working of the frequency system varies in particular domain. In DFT, we can find how a system can work in frequency domain. Just as the convolution allows system to be analyzed in time domain. Third, DFT can be used as an intermediate step in more elaborate signal processing techniques. The classic example of example of the FFT convolution an algorithm for convolving signals that is hundreds of times faster than the convolutional methods. Now let's talk about four point DFT matrix. DFT achieved by sampling the frequency domain is the by given this formula where n is the sampling period or the sampling interval due to the sampling in frequency domain we observe periodicity in time domain this is the formula cause of which we get a perfect and the simplified matrix version now since this is the matrix we will check. Consider we are use we put zero here value and then we get the first row. Same if we substitute some other values instead of zero, let's say one, then we get a different range of value. If we go ahead, the value varies and it goes up till three. Same is the case with the eight point DFT using the matrix method. And we have to note one thing for it. For inverse area discrete Fourier transform, take the complement of the imaginary. 